Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. Guys, this time I'm going to show you guys how to touch up cars where we used to do it in the body shops. You touch them up, mainly, primarily where your foot going to hit, kick panels, and, you know, down here where you get out of the car and your feet going to hit down here. Sometimes with spraying them, you know, with the paint gun and all that stuff, sometimes that paint tends to chip. So on certain cars, what we normally do, and this mainly on your older cars, what we normally do, take something like a sponge brush. The reason why we use a sponge brush, because a sponge brush doesn't, doesn't really screech. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. Do it just simply do it just like this, guys. And this is where your foot gonna hit at most of the time. So when your foot hit here a lot, guys, it's gonna knock the paint off. But when you brush it on, the paint tends to go up there thicker. See here? This paint is just a black piece of molding here. And like I said, use a sponge. We use the sponge because the sponge doesn't screech. Puts it on smooth. And what this does, guys, thicken up. Now, this mostly, mainly, primarily on older vehicles. It has all that black. Like this, this is an older model Honda. It has all that blackness going down there. Okay. And I just want to share that with you guys. That's primarily what we do. And as you can see, I did it all the way down. Because you know the paint pops off there first. On the black mold into the bottom down there. The tie rocks. You're going along the road or backing up. Rocks hit down there. And if you notice, it tends to paint pop down here first to the bottom part of the vehicle. Door, you can see where I stopped it. See there? I did it all the way down. And uh, to me, that's what take most of the impact. That mold into the bottom. Uh, a lot of times where your foot hit it. Or you just plain simple and <laughs> rocks and stuff hit it. And then whatever the case might be, it comes right off. To the bottom down there. You guys can see that good. Right there. Okay. And it's all the way down. Um, just do it all the way down. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Well, it look bad when you kick it and the paint come off. It look even worse. <laughs> see there? How good that look, and you can tell we we'll stop there right here. See that? That's how we used to do it, man. We took a sponge brush, not a regular paint brush, now a sponge brush, leave no screaks. We take it and go right down, and primarily, like I said, on older vehicles, touch it up all the way down. open the door to get up in there and get the rest. But you guys got an idea of what I'm talking about? It's right there. Okay. Right there like so. And like I say, open the door to get the rest. That's a done deal for that. But yeah, I'm using the Russ Olam paint here, guys. Um, high gloss Russ Olam. Now, like I said, this worked primarily on any car, but it's mostly on older cars where it has a molding, the molding down to the bottom, like. And like I said, a lot of times you foot kick it, and when you get in and out of the car, when you foot kick it. A lot of times, knock the paint off. You want something 
thicker down there that the paint actually stays up there better, something thicker. So that's why I prefer the uh, Russ Olin, the Super Bond. Russ Olin is peel proof. So, because your foot going to hit down there time to time too now when you're um, opening and getting in and out of the car. You might want to look out. <laughs> Your foot gonna hit down there, man. So sure is. Let's see, I can finish. I can get the other part. Like, once I open the door, like this here. Yeah. Just like that. See what I mean? Like soap, man. And you can finish on up. Just finish touching up the whole car just like that. As you can see. That's how we used to touch up paint them in the body shops. Go on around the whole car now. If you come around to this side, you can see where the paint went kicked. See here? been kicked there it's been kicked that's why the paint is coming off like that <laughs> believe me guys it's been kicked same thing here paint's coming off it's been kicked rocks hitting it the rocks popping in and making it come right off there but if you come around here if you look at the other side See the difference though. So how good that molding look over here compared to the other side. This way we did it, man. The body shops, especially on white cars, white vehicles, easy to cover up the fix. Easy. <laughs> Seriously, got a white vehicle. Sure, man, you can can't go wrong with covering up the defects of a white vehicle, man. You see how good that look down there. Y'all see that compared to the other side. See that? <laughs> now I'm going to paint. Uh, i probably paint my blue Honda white. So I'm thinking about doing. Paint that white. But I'm going to come back in a few minutes and we're going to work this car. With uh, something like all in one product. Super fast to work with you. Did you see how bad that chipped all up there? That's unattractive looking, man. See them? That coming from foot hitting it. Getting in and out in the car, and foot tapping it. Chips right off. See <laughs> Sometimes it's best to leave that stuff black. I think. And just treat it but it's too late now because I painted it a couple years ago but sometimes best to leave stuff like that black guys I will admit that much but you can see the difference but don't get me wrong I still believe it's best to leave stuff like that black sometimes and sometimes it's just better off just Treating it or something with something, you know, <laughs> just treat it with um, some kind of solution finish or something like that. Okay, seriously. Now, like that molding on the door, I want to paint this, this right here white, but then again, you know. If you got to deal with this paint popping, I'd rather leave it black and just treat it with some kind of solution finish or something, which I never work with, but I'm going to get around to it. And, uh, yeah, because uh, by the time the paint pop all off, it'll look terrible. So, well, I think I'd rather just leave it black and uh, just treat it with some solution finish. Okay, that's the best way to do it, man. I got my new ride parked over there on the side so I can get down here and work with this one. On the cool wagon. And uh, yeah, man, um, that's how we're doing it for today. 
But y'all see the difference though. When you just trimming it up. That's how you do your trim painting with a sponge brush. Not a regular brush, a sponge brush, because the sponge brush leaves no streaks. It just sponge it on up there and smooth it out. If you use a regular brush, it's gonna streak all over the place. And you ain't gonna really want that. It's just where it is. Alright, so uh, anyway guys, I hope y'all enjoyed, man. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And I think we'll come back. We'll work this car with the Black Fire Total Polish and Seal. Take care, man. I'll hit y'all on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.